And today on our, our guest, today again is uh, Mr. Kelvin Chisanga, who happens to be a communication uh, specialist as well as a CEO for INETACOM Zambia. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you so much. Very uh, good morning, listeners. Okay. So, Mr. Tsanga, can just uh, bless our transmission with a word of prayer? Oh, sure. Okay. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this uh, wonderful day that you have granted to each one of us in this uh, particular moment, Father. Thank you that, God, you have bestowed us with your presence, God, even in the gift of life that you have given to each one of us, Father. We appreciate for what you are doing and what you are going to do upon our lives, Jehovah. Father, we pray that, God, even as we have come to see the beauty of this day, Father, we pray for your inspiration and aspiration of your spirit, God, to work in us. So that we, even as we work, Father, we pray that, Jehovah, God, may you direct and censor in our lives, Jehovah, as we tend to do things according to your perspective that you desire of us, Father. Father, we pray for the synergy and the energy of your spirit, God, to transcend and work in our lives, Jehovah. We refuse to be subjected to the schemes of the evil one. Father, we pray, Jehovah, you alone take full charge, overshadow all our plans, Jehovah, even this day. Father, we pray that God, you alone work in even our friends who are finding it to be uh, challenging at uh, times in their, def in their lives, Jehovah. May you sm uh, smarten their, their, their challenges, Father. May you uh, alone, God, provide even their, even their situation that they are, they are facing right now, Father. Father, even for this governance of this nation, Father, we pray that may you inspire your, your life in our readers, Jehovah. Let you alone, God, work in their lives. Let you alone, God, even as they look at police formulation and anything that they have tend to do, Father, even this day, Father. We pray that Jehovah, over shadow your authority upon them. We pray all this through the name of Lord Jesus Christ, as we say unto you, Amen. Amen and Amen. Thank you so much uh, for that uh, power, powerful prayer, Mr. Chisanga. And now we get into the details of uh, the programs of today. As uh, analyze it with Phil, we pick a trending story that we analyze here. And uh, today we have picked a story from Kapirin Poshi where over 50 girls have uh, decided to abandon their dormitories uh, and uh, opted to rent apartments in nearby villages mm -hmm. in a quest for freedom to indulge in uh, sexual activities as well as uh, beer drinking. So that's the story that we've picked today and we're going to marry it uh, with uh, issues of uh, women empowerment. So from the story that you've picked, Mr. Chisanga, what can you say about it? Well, um, it's an issue that has to do with um, um, issues to do with Molo, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, obviously, as we link it to uh, the issues of uh, gender empowerment or women uh, development, okay. I, I think it also has to, to do with the, what component are we uh, you know, giving to the young girls mm -hmm. when it comes to um, uh, matters of uh, gender. I, I think he, he, I will explain more when it comes to the other side of uh, the empowerment. So that uh, from there, it, it will work as a basis for us to understand clearly uh, what basically uh, so this has to So what do you think would have read to those girls um, hoping to go and uh, we've been told they want freedom to indulge in uh, illicit activities? Uh, there are so many factors that could actually lead to that. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the factors probably I would mention to say that um, uh, it, it sometimes it's issues to do with the, how parents also raise uh, the, the children, okay. the female children. Uh, of course, there hasn't been so much a component to um, look at how, how, how parents should, should be, should, uh, you know, stimulate or, or rather uh, spark um, sort of like um, uh, values mm -hmm. in, the, in children. I, I think those are the issues that may be needed to, to be looked at. Uh, how have uh, children being lazed and uh, with the issues of also human rights i think it has also complemented in some way that um, uh, you, you know those times 
when we are trying to grow up, uh, of course, we'll be beaten, you you know, we'll be told and all those things. Yeah. But right now, if you, something happens in that sense, uh, obviously the parents are subject to be victims of uh, violation of human rights. Okay. So I, I think that has also uh, brought uh, this repercussion. So these girls that we are told that uh, they opted to rent uh, apartments in nearby villages. And uh, those houses they are renting, they've been built by somebody who is a parent to somebody. Yeah. And then they, are, they, they claim to be that uh, guardian or parent that uh, inculcate good morals in children, but they, in a quest for, for money, they allow in those girls. Well, um, I think it, it's also an issue of m- morality. Uh, f- for me, what mm-hmm. I've seen that uh, I, I think money shouldn't be a driving factor when it comes to issues of morality. Okay. Um, I, I would I would do lump up a blame on on the the the, 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 the proprietor of those, those houses. Those houses. Mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, if, if he's a parent like any other parent, he should be able to censor to say, "Look, if I'm giving this." Uh, minor okay. uh, opportunity like this mm-hmm. uh, it to land them into this. Obviously, the, the issue of um, uh, looking at money as a key objective, mm-hmm. um, it, it shouldn't be a, a thing that we should always look at. Even when I'm in business, I think that's not uh, the way things should happen. And even just from communication perspective, yeah. um, it tells a story to say that um, uh, there, there are you know, questions or challenging uh, okay. factors from both ends, the, 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 the proprietor of that, uh, those houses, yeah. as well as the parents. Uh, so are the parents responsible? For, for me, mm-hmm. the communication is, is supposed to be uh, put across to a point where there must be a way where, um, um, you know, things should put in st- uh, straightforward. Okay, so uh, talking of uh, issues to do with business, you are saying uh, in as much as you in engage in uh, a business transaction, there should be some uh, s- uh, sort of uh, morality in it. Yes, yes. Yeah, business, you know, business has got also a, a first value. Uh, I mean, uh, has got a human uh, element. Uh, you cannot just do business and you put a brain high on whatever it is that is happening in the, the business. Obviously, you have to consider uh, certain things that uh, aligned to, you know, uh, humanity. Okay. Yeah, so there is no way you can just look at money as the overriding pa- factor. So how can those girls that c- can be, uh, how can they be helped? Well, it starts with the spiritual way, um, and also it starts also f- with the parents. Uh, how how they 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 have been brought up? Uh, okay. What what type of life are they led? Uh, you know, uh, what factors are they blessed as they are growing? So those are things that maybe needed to be looked at, mm-hmm. and also uh, a lot of more of um, psychological. I mean, social psychological uh, aspect. Maybe mm-hmm. seeing certain gaps that uh, needed to be filled up in social values, uh, you know, we need to promote um, uh, these children in, in a, a, mo- a good moral standing. Uh, I think there is a lack that I've, I, I have seen that even the, the, the society now we are losing, uh, you know, social fabric in, in some way. Okay. Yeah. So now talking to I- issues to do with uh, women empowerment uh, and uh, rising from the background uh, of the story that you've just uh, uh, read today, in case you're just joining us, our dear listeners today on Analyze It with Phil, we're looking at a story from Kapirin Poshi where over 50 girls abandoned uh, dormitory uh, 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 the boarding facilities from schools and they opted to go and rent apartments in uh, a nearby village in a quest for freedom to indulge in uh, illicit activities. So rising from that background, um, Mr. Chisanga, uh, don't you think uh, those are the challenges that we are, we are facing today when it comes to issues to do with uh, women empowerment? Because uh, at a tender age, somebody would want to sow a seed that um, might have uh, a, a negative uh, harvest in future. Well, um Yes, it's it's one of the um, uh, compounding effect that we are faced with uh, right now as we look at the the, the, the women uh, development. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's one of the factors which is actually over, overlooked okay. uh, when it comes to uh, issues of uh, empowerment. Uh, usually, people are just looking at um, you know elevating a woman and okay. elevating their their value standard and all that but the the other component that comes with i think they are also lo- not 
are complementing to say when you raise up uh, a certain point, you need also to have um, uh, certain uh, attitude, certain uh, standards, certain uh, values that you need to uh, accompany with, and also even just to go about, um, you know, how you 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 you, mm-hmm. you take care of yourself and all those things. So, at which yeah. uh, at which uh, stage should uh, women and gender development start? Well, uh, the best uh, ground um, uh, um, work should start with schools okay. uh, because obviously if you look at the national uh, gender policy in Zambia, which actually got to be um, enacted, mm-hmm. that, is, that was uh, in 20, 2014 yeah. when the, the, there was uh, an establishment of a uh, minister of um, uh, Gender, uh, gender. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course we've seen that um, they have been fighting to make sure that uh, we have got an equal measure of um, uh, uh, women presentation in most of the uh, portfolios. Okay. Yeah. So for me, what I would say is that it starts as serious as um, um, primary school, so that uh, you know it can really help uh, to to actually spark growth of um, an empowered mm-hmm. uh, women community uh, in future. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, you're talking of an empowered uh, women community in, in future. What do you think it's important to empower women? Women complements uh, to the um, well-being or the national architecture of um, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of a nation. Okay. In that, um, they help to actually put uh, a lot of complements uh, that, that that come along with their nature. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll give you a background. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you and I, you are coming from uh, a, a mm-hmm. womanly or motherly love. Yeah. So now you can imagine that motherly love uh, now coming to be in a certain a key position. So we, we, we look at um, um, the attribute that they have of uh, biological mm-hmm. and sociological uh, or whatever it is. Okay. You see that a woman has got so many features in that um, th- they are even able to mount tax and give you the same uh, measure of, uh, of care and attention. And not only that also, yeah. if you look at the, the motherly uh, concern, uh, you find that um, uh, uh, women also, they have got um, a different touch in terms of, um, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, um, mm-hmm. uh, if you are given a position, uh, a position to, to take care of, uh, I'm sure you, 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 you make comparison between a woman and a man okay. in terms of how they, they take care of the wealth or resources. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they, will, they will be two different uh, specialities mm-hmm. in that uh, you find that maybe a, a man will even be a corrupt man compared to a woman. A woman has a different uh, outlook altogether. Yeah, there are few uh, clocks uh, <laughs> when it comes to that. <laughs> Okay, so uh, looking at uh, moving forward, yeah. as a nation, mm-hmm. there are issues to do with uh, uh, we want to have a Zambia that has a 50-50 representation in a uh, higher position of decision making. So today, you, you, you've talked about uh, starting from uh, the, uh, the ground to, 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 to raise a woman. Yeah. So don't you think uh, such activities that the girls themselves are putting themselves into without thinking about uh, the negative repercussions that they are going to face in future of an impact in when it comes to attainment of a 50 50 percent representation yes they, they there is a uh, aggressive uh, uh, social impact that could be caused uh, mm-hmm. as a result of such immorality or immoral behaviors okay. yeah obviously uh, for us to remove this um, uh, loss of um, more of fabric. Uh, I think there's a need also to look at um, the, the the education architecture in, in that um, uh, as, the, as there being a policy that directs or speaks into um, how we can equip um, a teacher who is maybe supposed to be gender sensitive okay. or supposed to address the op- issues to do with gender from that groundwork. Yeah, so those are issues that may also needed to be looked at. And also now coming back to um, the issue of um, uh, mm-hmm. Zambia being accredited to uh, um, 50-50 or maybe 40-60. 40, 40, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a very tricky situation now because um, we have a very sad, sad story, if maybe I'll, I'll, I'll help me to narrate uh, this. Um, you find that um, mm-hmm. I can count from my, 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 my fingers to say 
in, in Zambia, we've got about a um, few handful of women that we can count on who have done some bit of achievement here and there. Uh, talk of maybe, say, in the banking world, the first lady was um, was Margaret Manakatwe. Okay. Yeah. Now we talk of people like um, uh, um, Mzingamelu. Uh, Mzingamelu now. We talk of Mukadi Chibesakunda. We talk of uh, the other Chibesakunda at uh, Citibank. So you see, there are a few spotted ladies that you can see. Then you talk of maybe the first finance um, minister female was um, uh, this one, Nawakwi. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk of you know few people that you can spot. Uh, the first ID was um, Stella Dibongani. You know mm-hmm. there are few spotted. So you see that um, our um, achievement in terms of fifty-fifty, or even just that, or even when you talk about the Minister of um, Information, Dolasli, uh, yeah. uh, you know those are issues that you can always refer to to say, look, there are few spotted uh, places you can see the achievement of a woman. So there is a need for us to uh, find a light gear for us to engage and and see the the progressiveness of uh, a woman feature. Okay, so what is your message to that girl that might have the same thought of like uh, moving out of school and then uh, in a quest for freedom to indulge in uh, illicit activities? They started that by st- staying themselves because we are we are we we all are aware that uh, those girls that once they fall uh, pregnant, they will definitely. Uh, stay away from school and the guys will continue uh, and will continue to see more men in a higher position of decision making so what is your message to to to, to the girls out there to ensure that uh, they also take it upon themselves as uh, their responsibility to stay away from such activities so that we can have uh, more women in a top position of uh, decision making Okay, well, uh, the message should, should be that uh, there, there must be a self-control um, first of all, okay. and then there must be a, a, an inspiration um, of some sort. Uh, there must be a way where these young ladies or a girl mm-hmm. should be able to see who actually inspires her or who should be able to inspire her so that she can start uh, aligning herself to a certain purpose. Yeah, so achievement in life uh, cannot just come without uh, a certain role model. Okay. So there must be, um, uh, uh, you know, drawing back to a sense where she should be able to say, look, um, I think I've done enough. Uh, let me just look at... Um, uh, a way of aligning myself and 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 move forward and chat even in a, in a positive way in terms of life uh, values. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, in case you're just joining us, uh, you're listening to Analyze It with Phil. Right here on uh, Christian Nation FM, and our guest today is Mr. Kelvin Chisanga who is a communication specialist and entrepreneur and a CEO for INATA.com I- Zambia. And today on the program, we've picked a story from Kapirin Poshi that happened about uh, a week ago, where over 50 girls uh, from Mukonchi Secondary School in uh, Kapirin Poshi moved out of uh, the school dormitories to go and rent their own apartments in a quest to indulge in illicit activities such as uh, sex and uh, beer drinking and uh, talking of issues to do with a 50 50 representation in a high decision of uh, high position of decision making mr chisanga here has uh, reminded uh, the girls out there that uh, the only way that they can uh, bring about that achievement is uh, looking up to such a role model in society and uh, he's mentioned quite a number of people that uh, women can look up to the likes of uh, edith nawakwi dora steria Muzinga Melu, as well as Margaret Monakatwe. Um, and I'm also adding uh, Madam Mama Inonge Wina. Okay, that's good. <laughs> on, on, on the list. Yes. Yeah. So you go out there, the only thing that we can hard here to say is that uh, make that uh, thought of becoming like the likes of uh, Madam Inonge Wina be a predominant thought in your mind and you shall surely become. Because the moment you harbor that positive thought, you will ensure that uh, in all your undertakings, you align your activities to becoming such a one. So you can create that fantasy of uh, becoming uh, the vice president of this country also or the head of bank like um, Zinga Meru by aligning your thoughts to that of uh, thoughts to become.
Chris and SNFM it is. Uh, you're listening to Analyze It with Phil. And shortly we'll be able to open our phone lines. Under the program today we've featured uh, Mr. Kelvin Chisanga. So as we pray, we also want to have that uh, society that is empowered. And uh, today on the program, we've picked a story from Catherine uh, Poshi, where over 50 girls bring uh, away from uh, their school dormitories to rent apartments in a quest to indulge in uh, illicit activities. So we are marrying that uh, story with issues to do with uh, women empowerment. Where does it start from? What are we doing? Are we going to achieve the 50-50% of women representation and how can we achieve that? Okay, welcome back to the program, sir. Well, um, thank you so much. Uh, I, I think it, uh, as you have read earlier on, it will be very difficult to actually look at um, um, attainment of 50-50 uh, when we have got, um, uh, you know, the greener pasture of our um, future Zambia okay. uh, in, indulge in uh, such kind of uh, immoral behaviors. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's also very shameful that uh, we, we haven't uh, taken a, a step even from the perspective of balance mm -hmm. uh, to just find a way of how we can actually, um, you know, uh, uh, governize uh, ideas of how we should be able to um, help um, uh, our our upcoming uh, leaders. So I think there's a need for us to also change the light gear, as I mentioned earlier on, to mm -hmm. say uh, there's a need uh, uh, Minister of Higher Education or Minister of General Education to actually find um, suitable um, um, uh, topical um, teachers that can actually look at the uh, uh, way of developing gender courses. Mm -hmm. I think it will really help us from, from that perspective. So that they should, because I believe that if there is um, uh, gender course yeah. that, has, that can be actually outlined there, uh, they, they can put things like uh, motivation issues, issues to do with blue models, issues to do with the, uh, what other countries are doing in terms of, uh, you know, stimulating their they are um, they are ops okay yeah, so it can be actually up in that so way. talking yeah. about uh, teachers when uh, uh, children go to the boarding schools yeah. the first contacts that they have are their teachers and they to have such an alarming number of over 50 we've talked about issues to do with uh, those that allowed them to to rent their apartments yeah and uh, on the part of the girls themselves yeah. uh, are the teachers doing a uh, quite a, a good job in as much as uh, taking care of the, 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 the children that are sent to boarding schools is concerned because uh, the number 50 is just so alarming. Well, we wouldn't lump up to give uh, the all in, uh, blame to the teachers in its um, in, in entirety. I, I think there is also a need for us to look at uh, okay, uh, what uh, we have uh, brought in, in place. Short, the, yeah. the, the career guidance. Uh, I, I don't think th I don't think the development of career guidance is uh, currently happening right now from from the perspective I see things. Uh, but I would say that um, I think there are a lot of other uh, compounding issues that have actually brought us to this level. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we look at the issues to do with the. Um, I'm I'm not supporting to say we should have uh, a corporate punishment or anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, when you look at the the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Yeah. Have uh, clipped in in such a way that uh, you know it has brought also moral decay okay. on uh, on the, the the front of our our, our culture and the traditional values where we are even failing now to discipline our own children. You know, so such situations I th think that are actually even now uh, brought all of these issues. So I think there's a need for us to find a way. Um, immediately to just see how we can uh, comprehensively uh, deal with certain things like this. Especially when it comes, uh, when it is from the perspective of school nature. 
uh, I think there's a need for us to develop uh, a mechanism, yeah, just to see how how we can improve our our moral values. Okay. Yeah. And uh, at uh, the said school, don't you think the career guidance uh, department is needs to be strengthened? Yes, um, there's a need for us to actually wake up from this uh, slumberness. I, I think he, um, we, we just need to make sure that we put things in place. Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 we also uh, develop so much of um, um, uh, you know, I issues to do with the, um, uh, how we have, uh, 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 come up with um, bringing up the, the, the value systems. Mm -hmm. We need to um, uh, develop a systematic uh, policy approach, mm -hmm. even aligned to education uh, side of things, because we, have, we understand that uh, um, for us to grow, we need to use schools as bedrock uh, for us to actually make sure that um, our our uh, children uh, aligned to what we we, we we tend to see them expect when it comes to gender matters. Obviously, the other oversight that we also we've been looking at as a nation mm -hmm. is that we have uh, put so much weight on the, the, the girl child as well as the youth in terms of gender issues. I okay. think even the other side also needed to be censored as well. Yeah, though that seemed to be out of context, but the bottom line is that we need to look at... Um, I was uh, actually coming to that on the aspect <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> the, the other okay. Yeah, so uh, obviously we just need to make sure that uh, we, we we governize ideas that could actually uh, help, uh, you know, make a very good base for, okay. for, for the children. So how, how can the male gender also help in, in as much as the fostering development of this uh, nation is concerned by ensuring that we have uh, a 50-50% uh, representation in uh, the uh, position of higher decision making? Just like you've alluded to that... Uh, Mostly the female gender is uh, less uh, corrupt and uh, they have got uh, that care in heart and they would want to see things uh, move. Yeah. Well, um, first, the beginning point should be that um, uh, obviously the concept of uh, empowering or the concept of um, uh, uh, development in terms of gender or even just gender partiality issues, mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a need for us to look at a perspective of um, uh, inculcating a okay. uh, value system which should be able to translate or translate to say, uh, you, uh, when you are growing up, uh, either a girl or a female, mm -hmm. you are equal partner in national development. I think that's a setting point. If we start looking at uh, uh, factors in that in that perspective, then it will really help us. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, our oh, dear listeners, in just in case you're just uh, joining us now, and if you've been following the program. This is a point where we open our phone lines so that we can allow you to take part in the program and the topic of discussion today on Analyze It With Phil, the only program that uh, gives you a chance, uh, an insight on cross-cutting issues that we analyze here, right here on Christian Nation FM. It also, uh, also allows you to share those uh, breaking stories that you would love our newsroom to cover and the numbers that can get you to, uh, through to the studio so that you can take part in the program is uh, 0960-248915. The number again is 0960-248915. 0760-248915. Seven 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 six zero eight one one zero seven 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 six zero eight one one. So let's uh, get interacting. You can also add your voice to the topic of discussion today, which is uh, women empowerment, and we are marrying it with a story from Kapirin Poshi, where over fifty girls uh, ran away from school in a quest uh, to indulge in uh, illicit activities and hoped to rent a. Uh, apartments in uh, nearby villages so you can add uh, your thoughts to to that so the numbers again is 0960 uh, 248915 0960 248915 or 0777760811 you are listening to analyze it with Phil
Okay, so Mr. Tsanga, we've yes. talked about uh, on the part of the girls themselves and uh, the other gender that they wanted to be living with in those apartments, as well as uh, those that uh, allowed them to rent their apartments and uh, the teachers from their schools. Now we are looking at uh, the, the institution, the other institution, which is uh, the church. Yes. Zambia being a Christian nation, we have uh, churches almost in every corner. And uh, the society that those girls, that went, the community that the girls that went to live in, maybe just by the corner there, there's a church, there's another church. And uh, maybe it could be that one of the landlords there is, uh <laughs> <laughs> is one of the leaders in these, these uh, churches, or they belong to a specific church. Yeah, uh, you know, w- is the church also doing enough in as much as ensuring inculcating of uh, good morals is concerned, or they are just concentrating on those uh, people that congregate with them, fellowship with them? Well, um, I, I think my um, comment there will be that um, I think that the church has a part of which he, it's supposed to have played, but again, also uh, th- there has been uh, situations. I will maybe put, put it in this in this uh, current context. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, it's very difficult for a church to actually um, do uh, evangelism because of the prevailing situation. But obviously, if the normal um, situation was, mm-hmm. um, I think this would have been mitigated in, in, in some way because um, I believe so strong that uh, the society has a different set of uh, people of, of which uh, I understand even just from the biblical perspective. We all know that uh, Proverbs 22, the uh, 6 talks about um, training up a child in a way he should go. Mm-hmm. That yeah. when he's old, is not going to depart from it. So it's from that basis. Again, also, I will do I uh, lump up to say that um, the soci- sociological gaps are quite uh, huge to a point whereby we, we are also failing, uh, even just from the perspective of uh, communal uh, you know, engagement. I, I think there's a need for us to, to start bringing back the, mm-hmm. the values that we, we are Ubuntu so that it can really help us. Because um, if a parent, a consent parent sees that... Um, the children are in that uh, situation. I, I think it's it's high time one parent or a parent should be able to take up uh, um, like, like, a like step like, and, like, and like just the, go like and intervene. It, like the way it was in Kabul where a boy... Yes, the Kabul issue, yes, issue, yes, okay. yes, yes. So those are issues that we need to look at. Um, you know, we need to promote that. I, I think we we are too much of a westernized um, a culture to a point whereby we don't mind what is happening in the next door. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I think that we need to bring back the, uh, the Ubuntu concept so that it can really help us. How can we get back to the Ubuntu concept? Well, uh, I think it begins with the, um, <laughs> <laughs> it begins with you and me. So <laughs> obviously, if you and I looks at a uh, concept of um, uh, deterioration mm-hmm. in the in the cultural or, or traditional norms, uh, it calls for you to just start engaging and probably even the the way we are doing it, where we, we speak to people. So look, let's there be a unit of purpose in our family. Let's there be a unit of purpose in our community. Let's be uh, brothers keeper and all those things. I think it starts from there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So it starts from 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 all of us here. We yes, need all of us. There is need us. for a mindset a yes. mindset change. Yes. I, I believe one thing that um, you know when you use a mat stick, mm-hmm. it's one that can start fire. So it can even start with you actually. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Okay, so our dear listeners there, we have been uh, reminded as a society that we need to change our mindset in as ma- uh, in the way that we look at uh, our next person who yeah. happens to be our neighbor. Yeah. So that uh, situation, uh, I can say, it, it would have been uh, prevented. Yeah, then the other thing also, there must be a, a proper narrative uh, of maybe certain experienced um, uh, collectors. I think from that perspective, so it can I actually entail to say, look, uh, if a girls are abusing the, mm-hmm. their opportunity that has been given. Because I believe this is a good opportunity for them to yeah. actually explore uh, education and make sure that they become uh, something variable in future. Uh, so if they are able to um, to listen to the people that went before them. Okay. Yeah, I'll have a number of cases w- which I wouldn't love to mention into mm-hmm. uh, or other account into this. But um, I will tell you that um, if, if they look at uh, people that 
abused the opportunity of being in school and they are able to, to be taught as, as part of testimonial issues, mm -hmm. I think it can really uh, help to align their, their patterns or thoughts. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, mostly in the rural parts of the country, yeah. we've uh, seen uh, the, the non-governmental organizations yes. doing their works. Yeah. Issues to do with uh, gender... Uh, sensitization about uh, issues to do with gender, negative impacts of uh, early pregnancies and um, marriages. Yeah. And uh, for, for us to record such a number of 50, do you think uh, these uh, uh, government uh, non-governmental non organizations, they are just cooking up numbers that they give us? Because uh, I'm sure even if we are, th there is this issue of uh, the prevailing COVID-19 that has uh, paralyzed most of the Activities. happening activities, yes, yes. but they might have uh, a community facilitators there. Well, the civil society organizations mm -hmm. um, are quite doing a good job in terms of, um, uh, you know, flowing information across and also trying to empower um, us with the various uh, means of um, uh, uh, data or information, I may put it. Uh, it does that Probably they are not uh, a good fraction to cover the entire um, uh, landscape in terms of uh, operation tentacles uh, in areas that uh, are required to, to be covered. I think there's a need for us to, to see how we can expand or rather we just have to find a, a centralized um, uh, system, uh, work with the, with the, with the uh, provincial aids and see how we can streamline. Because I, I think there's a need for, for them to extend even just to... Um, a school level, mm -hmm. yeah. Like for example, I'll give an example of uh, a women lobby or national women lobby, if I may put it. Um, if they are covering the entire nation, then mm -hmm. I don't know what I would say. I think uh, it, it's it's an issue where I would say uh, somehow it will tend to be a blue lie. I, I, I'm not disputing in any way, but yeah. I'm trying to just say that uh, um, they are not covering enough uh, work. They are not in Shangombo. They are not in this. Uh, Lulo, typical uh, remote areas. I, I think that's when now yeah, they're not need doing the research from where they're supposed to do research from. Uh, not necessarily. I'm not <laughs> trying to <laughs> accuse them, <laughs> lest I may face uh, a lot of question number it. But all the same, what I'm trying to say is that um, there is a need to widen the scope. Okay. Um, in terms of um, uh, reaching out where the, the work is required now is in the rural uh, typical Zambian um, uh, setup. Uh, places where, of course, it's, it, it's even difficult for, for uh, a young girl to know what if she's able to, to actually uh, reach a certain point in, in life yeah. of maybe making certain influence at national level. So there's a need for us, for them, to actually cultivate a system of going to little areas and try to see how best they can help from there. And to the traditional leadership in those areas? Yes, they should be able to act as an like extension, um, uh, um, you know, officers, if I can put it, mm -hmm. uh, just to help uh, stakeholders, to help, um, uh, you know, align um, uh, the national, d uh, national uh, programs. Because obviously it it's dates back to the central government, okay. where we all know that uh, our government has a different, as a, as a, as a different uh, signature on different uh, protocols, you know, universal declaration rights and all those things. So it's, 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 a, it's a value chain in some way. So there is a need for um, each and every part in the value chain to actually play a part and make sure that we, we do something sensible and uh, helpful in for the nation. Okay. Yeah. And uh, looking at one uh, uh, part of our government, one ministry of government, which is the Ministry of Gender. Yes. That has been propagating for the need to uh, have a 50-50% uh, representation. W do you think they should uh, take interest in this uh, issue there? Yes, it's, it's something of a peculiar interest uh, in that um, uh, there's, a, there's a strong need for uh, uh, the, the, the government to, to actually see that uh, uh, this uh, band of uh, ladies, mm -hmm. young ladies, yeah. uh, are actually cultured in, in sensible uh, citizens in, in of this nation. So that uh, the, 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 the economic uh, bedrock of Zambia should be able to actually point to say, look, we've got these people. I'll give you a, a typical story of um, 
mm-hmm. of of uh, ladies. I even just posted it on social media at some point. Uh, I think it should be yesterday, where a, f- a, a family member of five. Yeah. All of them are, la- are, la- are girls, and I'm sure the father and the mother, they are very lucky, you know. All of them, they are doctors in different health disciplines. You can imagine mm. that, you know. And okay. they have made a name. The name has been so resounding to say to a point whereby, you know, uh, Nigeria does not go without speaking of any of those uh, members of the family. So, you know, ladies, they have got a certain uh, power in their, in their, in their structure, uh, in their... Uh, way well of um, uh, 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 leadership uh, abilities. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, the, 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 the story that we're looking at today of from Kapir and Porsche, where 50 yeah. girls uh, ran away from school. Yeah. Yeah. So th- since it has been discovered that uh, they opted to, to, to rent apartments in a quest to indulge in the said activities that, yeah. <laughs> so there will be, be a point where they have to be reconciled and uh, taken back into school. Do you think we just need to take them back to school to say, you and you, you have to be in school, you have to get educated, or what's supposed to be done in the process of taking them back to into into school? Well, uh, I think there there is a need for us to uh, also come along with the uh, very um, uh, good uh, counselling uh, model. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, the the whole point is that I think there is a need for um, the the career guidance if there is any at that school. Mm-hmm. Uh, try to start reshaping them uh, in such a way that they should be able to now to to start uh, being reasonable uh, citizens. So that it it really helps. Uh, to to grow from there. I'm sure out of those 50, there must be one who can be a minister, who can be a president, who can be, you know, something big in this nation. So there's a need for us to preserve, um, even just when it comes to uh, spiritual life, uh, those are souls that need to be to be cultivated into the kingdom. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And our time seems to be so jealous. <laughs> so we are getting in the dying minutes of our programming. But we can still make that call and uh, make that a uh, valued uh, contribution. The number again is 0960 Or 0 Zero seven 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 six zero eight one one. You can also post uh, that uh, comment on our Facebook page, Christian Nation FM one zero six point five. And you can also follow live on our Facebook uh, this uh, transmission on Christian Nation FM Radio one zero six point five Facebook page. You are listening to Analyze It with Phil. With me, your presenter, Chisalo Philip. And our guest today is Mr. Kelvin Chisanga. In case you are just joining us, you can just you can also pick it up to the end of this uh, program. I'm sure Mr. Chisanga here will be able to make uh, that conclusion for us. Uh, but uh, I just want to remind you that today on the program, we were looking at... Uh, the story from Kapirin Poshi, where over 50 girls were uh, abandoned uh, uh, their dormitory schools to rent apartment so that uh, in, in nearby villages so that they can indulge in illicit activities. <laughs> 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 so we wanted to find out what would have read, uh, led to that uh, decision by the said girls. And how well we can, how well, okay, we can help them. And Mr. Chisanga here has alluded to a lot of uh, a point, points. And we trust and believe that you've benefited. Before Mr. Chisanga concludes, I'll be the first one to conclude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in case you're listening and you're one uh, such uh, that would want to become in life and you're planning on taking the same uh, routes that were taken by the said girls, 
be reminded that uh, the moment to, to, to become that empowered woman is now. Sow that seed so that you can have a good harvest. The people that we are seeing in positions, uh, our position, like the likes of um, Madame Winongi Wina, they started from somewhere. They never just became in a day. They used to imagine themselves in that uh, posi- in those positions. Yes. Like I should be that woman of influence one day. Mm-hmm. So they saw the <laughs> seed. <laughs> they ensured that they stayed in school. Yes. They they, they kept away from uh, other illicit activities. Yeah. Okay, so let's just get to pick this call. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, mashuke ni mkwai. Eh mkwai balisha ni mamayo. Ngamwashita Okay. Okay. Yonse baba mugwalwa limbi baba fye mukwenda ukafilia bonse nomba taisa ona ula badi abana abatuntu tata tikashu pata kuli chimbi chikachitika kano fye shuwiria kwale salieka na abantu bamo badi abaperwa ukula afunda badi abana ukuti babe munshire isuma kabili chika bonse nchita kuti badi abana babe bunino Umosie ulia wine, aona ula wali ya wana. Mm. Nga mwawe pusha, baka lando kutika mpande wa chikirifi. Mm. Kwa isa na nani na nani. Mweba na mandita besa pipaka shitaka mkeni ya wana baisa wonsha wa vipa. Mm. Kwa isa yeah. pali ya pa boarding school. Mm. Umosie. Mm. Kani shifo tu wala chita, tutile fye. Katu ipushele so mwini wa mshiru watu. Peka ni shisheko. Kuli wali ya wantu wa wapalwa, abole sasala. Ngalanda no mtu, umu anakutia mm-hmm. umfwa. Elo chika pose nshita. Uwonse fuweba lela ndapano tu iwa fiyashi. Kula fi pitamo, na lelo tuchidi tule pitamo. That's true. Na fi fumakuwa fiyashi atiyo, eba alenge, si haa, haba mm-hmm. anono. Mm-hmm. Ali bali haba fiyashi vanevo. Mm-hmm. Bambita beka la pama ya ndataba kwa tani nshita ya kula ndana vana. <laughs> Chose fidia na fiyo, efide ele ngesha. Mkwa yeso na chila kwa fiyo kula ndana vana. Ok, tuwa tasha saa mkwa. Na tasha. Awo tu atashe mayo, pakupala fumu ala anda mkwa, itu awo mfuwa. <laughs> okay. And the one who is taking over from me, my grandfather Jeff Chanda is already in the studios. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, Uncle Phil. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank Good you. Good morning, Father Jeff. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Chisanga. Chisanga. How are you doing? I'm good. I really trust good. you've been following uh, the program, my yeah, grandfather. Yeah, I was uh, listening and uh, it's, it's a disturbing story where yeah, it is. those ladies, you know, they, they have to put... Uh, school fest. Okay. No wonder why you mentioned about uh, Madam Inonga Wina, yeah. yes. um, Meru, yeah. Madam Nawakwi. Mm-hmm. Uh, they concentrated to school. Yes. Okay. Then they do something else. Yes. But uh, abandoning the dormitory yeah. mm. to go and start yeah. uh, renting yeah. somewhere, <laughs> which means there's agenda there. Okay. I'm sure, yes. Yeah, okay. So my grandfather, Jeff Chandler, I'm seeing here today, never just became in a day. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> it started <laughs> from <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. J- uh, gr- my grandfather there. But Mr. Chisanga, as we come to the end of the program, in your concluding uh, remarks, sir. Yes, um, I, I think I would love to conclude to say that, um, y- y- you know, we have to still look at uh, um, ways and modalities of uh, trying to, s- uh, to see how we, 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 we grow the, the national gender policy uh, okay. to cater for those gaps that could actually be not censored. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to make sure that the sociological uh, uh, components that are left out yeah. uh, in different perspectives needed to be uh, you know, covered and um, uh, well articulated so that uh, we, we should not be able to, to, le- to leave anything hanging. And mm-hmm. then other than, other than that also, we need to also look at um, 
uh, an aspect of uh, trying to say uh, if an empowered uh, lady mm-hmm. um, is a quite quite okay empowered what else what else are we also need uh, need to actually uh, help out with of course there are situations where a lady has been empowered mm-hmm. and uh, at the at the end of it all you find that uh, she start abusing that empower empowered the effort okay. in that um, maybe for example she 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 was married uh, then at some point she she get empowered then she she thinks of now leaving the husband or mistreating the husband i think those also uh, companies that need to be looked at and well censored in such a way that uh, even when the empowerment package mm-hmm. is uh, being flown to ladies they should be able to to say that okay um, these are the things that are coming along with as a matter of morality okay. yeah so those are issues that need to be looked at and then the other aspect also is um the, the there is a need for us to have um um a censorship uh, you know public censorship in terms of uh, how we we we, stimi- we 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 formulate policies on on gender okay. uh, in that we need to also be car- very careful um uh, how we 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 strengthen our um, our capacity and they should not just be one way uh, uh traffic where Yes, one way trust where, where if if he, a lady is um, is uh, is beaten or anything, uh, then that man should not be subjected to to um, police bond or anything like that. Uh, there should also another way where the protection of the men as well should be there because there are some times where uh, um, men are subjected also to uh, some beatings. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. so there is a need for us to censor everything, and we need to make equal. Uh, um, you, um, you know, efforts in, in, in promoting this uh, gender uh, equity. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Tsanga. And this is where we come to the end of the programming. Thank you. So, ladies out there, empowerment has start from you, and we've been reminded that uh, let's start empowerment start from your mind so that uh, you grow with that and you m- work towards achieving just that which you would want to become one day in the future in the bible tells us that uh, in god's image we are equal and when we come to <laughs> <laughs> when we come to society here there's uh, an aspect where there's some sort of uh, inequality that uh, w- we create ourselves yeah because uh, sometimes we w- we remove ourselves from the positions that would uh, that lies ahead of us by taking a path that might uh, not uh, make us achieve that which we would want to become. Yes, sure. So if you want to become, this is the right time to sow that seed, ensure that uh, you align yourself with uh, something that can uh, empower you someday in the future. You've been listening to Analyze It with Phil, with me, your presenter, Chisalo Philip. And uh, today our guest uh, was uh, Mr. Kelvin Chisanga, a communication specialist and uh, entrepreneur as well as a CEO for iNetacom Zambia. Thank you so much for making it uh, to the program, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's always my pleasure. Okay, so sure. good afternoon, uh, good e- morning, uh, dear listeners. <laughs> You're already in the afternoon. <laughs> Imagine, Uncle <laughs> Phil, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, 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 it's going to be a great day, I'm sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> or something has been planned for this I'm evening. I'm sure. Yes, <laughs> yes. Maybe uh, someone a very, will, a very <laughs> will do something in the airtel money. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I was thinking like I've already come with the afternoon menu. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, thank you so much, our dear listeners, for following the, this uh, program. Good morning. FM. Christian Nation FM, we pray and inform you.